Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah. So today, I want to solve this in uh interesting probability interview question. If you want to see more uh interview question, then you can check out my video list. I will post my video list below. So choose a random number between zero and one, and the record's value, and keep doing until the sum of the number uh exists one. And then how many trials do we need? Well, so basically, the problem is I guess it's simple, right? So, uh, let's just say, right? So the problem, the question is that uh, you you. Right, you keep drawing uh let's say x1 right two from uniform random zero to one and x2 you just draw it and x3 you just draw it and you ask uh you just sum over uh x1 up to x by x1 plus x2 and x1 plus x2 x3 and until it's greater than one right so until it's greater than one and then you you take the so you use this as a random variable and then you want to compute the uh, expectation value of such a uh, variable okay uh right so yeah so you can yeah so uh, i can define a random variable let's say let's call it this n n oh, so this n is defined to be the uh, right so it's defined to be yeah so right so you just take uh maybe up to k maybe up to k is here which are equal to one so it sees one but uh the uh, uh, previous up to like k minus one is still uh less equal to one. Okay, so satisfy these two condition and uh, now this random variable is k and you just sum over expectation value of this guy. Okay. Uh right, so more uh right, so this problem can be actually uh, calculated. Just very simple by just using the uh, property of random uh uniform random distribution. So uh, I guess one obvious way to do this is just uh write down the write down this expression, right? So your n, right? Your your total this expectation value of n. Uh, there may be right. So the first time you cannot is this one, but second time you have right. So you can maybe take probability of x one if probability of this guy is greater than one, then you just times one, right? And maybe the second time that uh. Maybe you need the twice tie, right? You maybe you need second tie. Sorry, this is two. Because you at least need two twice, right? So maybe for third it means that you can ask the probability of x1, x2, x3, uh greater than one, but uh x1, x2 uh less or equal to one. Okay, so this is you this is end. Okay, end. Okay, and uh, you can maybe take four, it means that uh, x1, x2, x3, x4. Is a square to the one, but the uh, and the uh, x one plus x two plus x three is that's equal to one, and the plus five plus six. Okay, and then the only thing I need to know is that I need to compute such guy. Okay, so the problem boils down to the following, right? So the problem, the problem is the following. So the problem boils down to the how to compute the probability of x one up to x n greater than one. So x1 up to xn minus 1 is less or equal to 1. If I can compute this as a function of n, then I just uh, plug it, it, and I can just, hopefully I can evaluate this into, uh, evaluate this series exactly. Uh, okay, so for this one that, uh, right, so at least for like, uh, in the IF of 2, that will, I would just get the, Get uh okay so let me just do it so f of two will be just probability of x one plus x two greater than one right and this is half right this is easy to compute right because this is x one x two and the uniform random zero one zero one and we want to s one plus x two greater than one so that means it's this part so for this part this is this area so it's half okay. Now we can compute F3 to be the probability of x1 plus x2 plus x3 greater than 1 and uh, x1 plus x2 less than 1, okay? So how do I compute this? And uh, uh, this can be easily computed by the following way, right? So uh, let's see, right? So I can that condition A to be a set of x1, x2, x3 greater than 1. And then they say B to be uh, x1 plus x2 greater than 1. 
So F3 is basically the probability of A intersection with B complement. Okay. Okay, so but the probability of A intersection B complement basically is the probability of A uh, minus the probability of uh, A intersection B. Okay. So, yeah, I think this is true. Okay. So, but probability of A intersection B basically just the X1 plus X2 greater than 1. Because if x1, x2 greater than 1, then a will be satisfied. Okay, so but and if x1 plus x2 greater than 1, then x sure x1 plus x2 x plus x3 is greater than 1. Okay, so it's probability a minus probability of a intersection b. Okay, so basically this is the, the key point. Okay, so the problem becomes the probability of x1 plus x2 plus x3 greater than 1 minus probability of x1 plus x2 greater than 1. Okay, but uh, this term uh, can be computed by just changing this to 1 minus probability of x1 plus x2 plus x3 less than 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 minus probability of x1 plus x2 less than equal to 1. So it's the probability of x1 plus x2 less than equal to 1 minus the probability of x1 plus x2 plus x3 less than equal to 1. Okay, so now, uh, okay, so now for this one that, uh, for this one that the one can actually, uh, okay, so for this one that one can actually is uh very easy to compute this. Okay, because this is half minus what uh what is this? So this is have three dimension, x one, x two, and x three, and then the sum of x one plus x two x three equals one is this this plane. Okay, so the area is the tetra uh, the volume is a tetrahedron. So it's one divided by six. Okay. And in general, you can use calculus to prove the following. If you have x1 plus x2 up to xn, that's equal to one. The volume is basically one divided by n factorial. Okay, so this can be uh, computed by calculus. So it's one half minus six. Okay. So yeah, so this is F3. Okay. So that means that uh, in general, well, we can use this to compute f of n. Okay, so that means in general, our f of n can be using the transcentric. We can prove that it's probability of x1 up to xn minus 1, that's equal to 1, minus the probability of x1 plus x2 up to xn, that's equal to 1. So it's 1 divided by n factorial minus, it's 1 divided by n minus 1 factorial minus n 1 divided by n factorial. Okay, so yeah, so this guy is n factorial, uh, n minus one. Okay, because times n n minus one. Okay, okay. So now we go back to here, here. Okay, so our expectation value will be summation of like this is, uh, n f of n n from two to infinity. And the f of n is n, n minus 1 divided by n factorial. So it's n from 2 to infinity and minus 1, and minus 1 factorial. So it's n from 2 to infinity, 1 divided by n minus 2 factorial. Okay. And the n from 2 to infinity, 1 divided by n minus 2 factorial, you just change n minus 2 to another variable. So you get summation of 1 over n, 1 over n factorial. So the answer will be e. Okay. Why e comes up? Okay, so the answer will be, okay, so it's natural constant D, okay. Okay, so yeah, so the proof basically is very simple, just sum of the random uh, uniform random variable. And I guess the most commonly used tool in this type of problem is basically this kind of, uh, this formula probability of sum from the x1 up to x2 up to xn is less or equal to one, the probability is one divided by n factorial. And the proof that you can just use calculus. Okay, see you guys in uh, the next video.